solve exceptions, you'll need to understand the meaning behind the exception message. Here's a breakdown of each exception message by group, along with notes on potential resolutions. Let's take a closer look at some of the more common messages. Message number two in group one indicates that the exception is new and means that the order has an opening date in the past. Remember, this is only relevant for organizations that use an opening period defined through the scheduling margin key. Message number three in group two indicates that, again, the exception message is new and that the start date of the order has passed. Message number four in group three indicates a new exception triggered by the order finish date being in the past. In other words, you'll see this exception message on orders that are past due. It's important to remember that a single MRP element, such as a planned order, could have multiple messages assigned. And not all messages indicate a problem, such as the case with most group four messages. For instance, message number one reads, newly created order proposal. Anytime a planned order is generated for the first time, the planning run will assign this message. This simply indicates that the planned production order is brand new and didn't exist for the material in prior planning runs. This is not really an issue, rather just information. Other common messages you will encounter as a planner are message number 96, which is telling you that the current inventory level has dropped below the specified safety stock quantity, group seven messages, which all relate to rescheduling, and the single group eight message, message number 98, which indicates the planning run failed to complete for the material. As you can see, resolving any one exception will depend on the message itself, the material in question, and your business priorities. Also keep in mind that you may not be in a position to resolve an exception. Let's consider a live purchase order to a vendor. You have a predetermined lead time with that vendor and the delivery date was agreed upon in advance. If MRP presents exception message number 10, which is recommended to expedite the purchase order, it doesn't necessarily follow that you'll actually be able to expedite that order. In other words, the exception messages are simply recommendations from SAP. Let's take a look at a real example. To review an individual material list, select the record and click the display MRP list button to review. After analyzing the data, it's clear that MRP assigned exception message 30 to the planned production order. Based on the demand schedule for this material, you can see that there is no available inventory to fulfill the customer orders that have been entered. Message 30 is in group 7, which again relates to rescheduling. In a nutshell, SAP is recommending that the planned order be rescheduled to an earlier date in order to fulfill the customer orders. To be more specific, message 30 means that MRP attempted to reschedule the planned order, but was unable to because to do so would have resulted in the planned order having a start date in the past, which SAP will never do. Resolving this specific example could be done one of two ways. First, we could adjust the demand signal. In other words, contact the customers that placed the orders and alert them that the product will not be available. The customer orders can then be canceled or rescheduled to a later date. Or Planners can adjust the supply signal. In other words, reschedule or release the planned order as soon as possible in order to meet the customer date. Once all exception messages have been reviewed and, if applicable, resolved, planners should set the processing indicator by clicking the processing button. By processing the list, you are able to visually recognize which lists have already been reviewed, but more importantly, you are flagging those exception messages as old. This is important because in the next planning run, if those same exact messages still exist, you won't be prompted to review them as new exceptions. Once you return back to the main materials list, you'll notice that process list should fall to the bottom. This can be controlled through your sort selection. Now it's simply a matter of continuing on through the materials that require your review. Select the next material in the list and display for analysis and resolution. Once you've reviewed all materials presented, you might need to repeat this exercise for any additional MRP controllers, product groups, or vendors you manage. <music>